Good evening, and again, welcome to St. Mark's here in Port Hope for our service of Evensong um, that we now have had throughout the summer, and uh, you can enjoy, of course, on Facebook and YouTube. We're looking forward, however, to Sunday, September 13th, uh, just a week or so away, for the first uh, Sunday morning service together in corporate worship here at 1030. But for now, I hope uh, you can uh, be meditative, relax, and listen to the ancient words of our Anglican uh, Evensong, both the readings and the, and the Nunc Dimittis and Magnificat. For the 14th Sunday of Pentecost, these words, May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten our eyes and our hearts, that we may know what is the hope to which he has called us. Amen. Thank 
first reading is from the first book of Kings, describes some of the civil war that broke out between the tribes of Judah and the tribes of Israel. Beginning at the 21st verse of the 12th chapter, when Rehoboam came to Jerusalem, he assembled all the house of Judah and the tribe of Benjamin, 180,000 chosen warriors, to fight against the house of Israel and to restore the kingdom to Rehoboam, the son of Solomon. But the word of God came to Shemaiah and the man of God, saying, and said, Say to Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, king of Judah, and to all the house of Judah and Benjamin and the rest of the people, Thus says the Lord, You shall not go up or fight against your kinsmen, the people of Israel. Return everyone to his own home, for this thing is from me. So they hearkened to the word of the Lord and went home again according to the word of the Lord. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church today. Thanks be to God.
The second reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew continues Jesus' word, words from the Sermon on the Mount. These famous words where he says, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its flavor, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trodden underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid, nor do men light a lamp and put under a bushel but on a stand, and it gives light to the whole house. Let your light, therefore, so shine that they may see the, your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. The word of the Lord. And thanks be to God.
beseech thee that we may so faithfully serve thee in this life that we fail not to finally attain thy heavenly promises through the merits of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants the peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. So now let us close our evening prayers with these prayers. So let us, in the deep silence of our hearts, pray to Almighty God with these words. Almighty God, who art afflicted in the afflictions of thy people, regard with thy tender compassion those in anxiety and distress. Bear their sorrows and their cares. Supply all their manifold needs and help both them and us to put our whole trust and confidence in you through Jesus Christ our Lord. And Almighty God, whose blessed Son Jesus Christ went about doing good and healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people, continue, we beseech thee, this his gracious work among us, especially in this time of the pandemic of COVID-19. Cheer, heal, and sanctify the sick, Grant to the physicians, surgeons, nurses, and all those on the front lines the wisdom and skill, the sympathy and patience so required, and send down thy blessing upon all who labor to prevent suffering and to forward thy purposes of love. 
And loving God, you call us to be good stewards of this, our earthly home. Strengthen us to care for your creation. Forgive us through our greed and indifference when we abuse its beauty and damage its potential. Empower us through your spirit to nurture and love the world that all creation sings to your glory. And finally, Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of our hearts, as may be most expedient for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. And amen. Thank you.